Hey, y'all, it's me, Michael Anthony Judicici. Welcome to All Things Billy the Kid, this special pop-up edition, <laughs> uh, pop-up live edition. And uh, glad uh, those of you that can join me have joined me. And if you can't join me live, then <laughs> join me dead. No, join me later on. But uh, appreciate you being here. So uh, we had a uh, poll on the community page of the YouTube channel talking about if you could uh, have one or see one Billy the Kid photo of a list of photos that don't exist, at least as far as we know, uh, which would it be? And uh, got some interesting results. Additionally, it, I thought it was intriguing because uh, a number of people wrote and said, uh, I can't choose. In other words, I'm having a lot tougher time with this than I thought I would. And so uh, I wanted to uh, review those choices and uh, talk about it because, again, as far as we know, none of these photos exist. But and, and if they had, we probably would have found them by now. But uh, but if they did, uh, which one would be most intriguing to you? And uh, so we're going to take a look at that right now. So I want to uh, show you my poll. <laughs> I show you the poll. <laughs> and uh, if you didn't vote, you still can. So that's good. All right. Uh, Will, Don, Max, Mark, uh, welcome. So here's the poll. And it was from, uh, it's only been four or five days, uh, 230 responses so far. So that's enough to be statistically valid, I would think, uh, with the size of uh, the audience for this channel. And the question was, if you could see one real photo, assuming these photos existed, which one would it be? Um, and so, and you can see the choices there, gunfight at Blazers Mills, Billy running from the burning McSween house, a, uh, a photo of Billy and his brother, Joe, a death photo of Billy and a photo from Billy's funeral. Um, all of them got some votes. Uh, each percentage point, uh, is worth, uh, 2.3 votes. So six, 12, 15. Uh, yeah. So, uh, there's at least enough votes here on my poll <laughs> that uh, we can discuss these. So we're going to go from order of lowest uh, vote getters to highest, and we're going to take a little uh, review of those. So uh, or, uh, sitting at the bottom, only 6%, which would it be something around uh, 12 to 13 votes or something like that. Now, maybe 15 votes is a photo of Billy's funeral. And I happen to have a photo of Billy's funeral here. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that. You've seen this. Uh, this is a painting, I think, famously in the Billy the Kid Museum down in Fort Sumner. Um, and uh, we've talked about this one before. I, I'm, I'm actually quite fond of this picture just because it sets the, uh, uh, it sets the tone. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe gives you a kind of a sense of what was going on that day. Oh, hello, me, myself, and I. Hello from Casey. I've never caught a live before. I didn't catch the poll, but I'd go with the funeral. Oh, well, so we got to add one, uh, one vote to the funeral. Uh, first of all, if you were at our uh, tour of Old Fort Sumner last week, uh, down in Old Fort Sumner, you would look at this and go, oh, that's cool, but the layout is all wrong. Look at the Maxwell House, like 100 yards away and kind of to the left of the cemetery, which would be to the south or the left of the grave. And we know that that's not at all where the Maxwell House was. That's not the way it was sited. Um, yeah, there were substantially more buildings around there. I think it's a great, I think the painting is great. Um, I I just, I love the feel of it, but it's not uh, not close to the actual layout of the Maxwell Place or any of the buildings of old Fort Sumner, but that's neither here nor there. Somebody also pointed out with this one that there's no coffin. What are they going to do? Just, you know, toss Billy in the, in the dirt and cover him up. And uh, we know that he was buried in a pine box. Um, and we also know that the graves were not laid out three across with, uh, with Folliard and Bowdry, but that the, the, uh, it probably Folliard and Billy were offset a little bit to the east and boundary to the uh, to the west, like one row away. Um, but anyway, this was the lowest vote getter. Uh, but me, myself, and I 
added one. So it might actually be a tie now, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And if we had a photo of that, do you think it would look like this? Uh, I think there would certainly be friends of Billy's there, as you can see, his pallbearers. I'm sure one of those is Jesus Silva. Um, you see the women in the background. In Amongst those women, probably Paulie de Maxwell, Celso Gutierrez, Abrana Garcia, uh, De Lavina Maxwell, uh, maybe Luz Maxwell. I mean, it could be a number of uh, different women that would be there. And I think they're praying the rosary if I'm, if I have my religious, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> antenna on properly. And then there's a bunch of other guys in the back, of course, who's not here. There's no Pat Garrett. There's no John Poe, uh, no McKinney. Um, because those guys would have gotten out of there as soon as they can. Uh, and, uh, utter, I still don't know this name. I've seen it so many UT, utter, whatever it is. Anyway, no, no boots on, just feet. Um, this actually would be my vote. So in this case, I don't have a finger on the pulse of what people would want to see because my vote would be to see a picture of the funeral, not to prove that it happened. I think a lot of people probably would like it just so they could say, oh, look, there it is. Um, but I really would like to understand the tone of that day and uh, and the, the visual of who was there and how they were dressed and... Um, yeah, I mean, was it a was it a gray, cloudy day? Was it bright sunshine? Like those are the kind of things that would interest me. So, if if we were going to uh, uh, get one of those five, although the other ones would be fascinating to me, this would be the most compelling photo. And also, by the way, probably one of the easiest to get. I don't mean <laughs> easy as far as oh, I'll take that photo, uh, but easy technically because a funeral. You know, people would be standing quietly, probably not moving around much. Somebody would be speaking. Clearly, Billy wouldn't be moving. And so, uh, you know, from a from the standpoint of uh, a tintype uh, photograph, you could have focused or uh, gotten this a lot easier than you could have gotten an action shot or something at that time. Um, as far as we know, no photographers anywhere near Fort Sumner at that time. So it didn't happen. I wonder if there was a photographer, might there have been uh, a photograph taken of that very somber occasion? Was the coffin or the, uh, yeah, was the coffin already closed by the time that, um, you know, that Billy's body was brought to the cemetery, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and one last note on this one, if you do take a look at the Maxwell house, there, 100, 150 yards away. It's more like three to 400 yards away. You wouldn't, you'd barely be able to see it from the cemetery. And uh, there would be a much greater gap in distance with other buildings in between there. So this makes it seem almost as if someone could stand out on the uh, porch, the upper porch or uh, terrace of the Maxwell house and look out of, look out at the funeral, but that wouldn't be it at all. So uh, if you've had a good look at my poll, <laughs> I, can't, I just can't resist that. Uh, then you would know that uh, 6% of you, that's the lowest vote getter, um, said a photo of Bill Billy's funeral. But if I could have voted, I can't vote on this. Uh, technically, I can't put my vote in, then uh, it would have been a little higher. And me, myself, and I uh, also added a vote. So I think that that's going to pick us up somewhere, oh, I don't know, to maybe close to 7%. All right. Um, the second uh, from the bottom was a photo of the gunfight at Blazers Mills. And uh, you remember this. If you're in Young Guns, there's old Buckshot Roberts or James Arness. And uh, this would have been a tougher photo, obviously, because you would have had to know that there was going to be a gunfight that would break out. And, uh, it, you know, it would be an action shot. And, you know, tintype photography required that you stand still for some number of seconds. And so this clearly would have been tough. But hey, if we're just dreaming, hey, there's marinara. If we're just dreaming about, um, you know, a photo that we uh, that we'd like to see, then we might as well dream about the fact that a photographer was there with a DSLR camera. And in this case, they had it set to the sports setting. So, you know, really fast shutter speed. And, uh, 
and we could have gotten it. But a photo, if you could imagine, of the gunfight at Blazers Mills, the, the reason for me that it would be so fascinating would be just to see the overwhelming odds that Buckshot Roberts would have been facing. Um, you know, 10 regulators against one guy who just ref literally with them standing in his face refused to give up and you know 10 guns against one and this guy didn't go i mean he went down swinging and shooting and uh oh is it brian keith yeah my apologies not james arness you're right um and uh so i think a photo from that as the shooting broke out just to see where everybody was headed i think would be fascinating it would be one of those one in a million things i think there's one photo uh, a verified old west photo of a you know gunfight on main street you know high noon type thing and uh, i've seen it and there's it's actually blurry probably because somebody was moving their arm with their gun so again if we're going to have our wish list of photos that don't exist we're also going to have technology <laughs> that didn't exist so it could be captured clearly now, I didn't offer you video on any of these things because I think that ruins it. Photographs give you the chance to, to imagine, to dream, to have an opinion. Um, you know, you, can, you see one tiny, you know, one second or microsecond slice of life. Whereas a video, if we're going to send a, uh, uh, if you're going to send a, a videographer back there, well, then you might as well watch a movie. So uh, Buckshot Roberts... Uh, getting into it with the regulators uh, was another photo that was offered in the poll, but didn't get all that many votes. Uh, it didn't, didn't play in 16, 17 votes or something like that. Didn't play all that well. Uh, although I think people would be interested based on the photos that came above it. Uh, then I think that they probably said, eh, you know, interesting, but not all that exciting. Um, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't have time to look it up. I probably could now, but I don't think Buckshot Roberts was as old as uh, Brian Keith <laughs> was here. I think Buck Buckshot Roberts was a younger guy, 30s or something, maybe 40 or somewhere around there. Um, but nevertheless, one of the most heroic stands uh, in, in the Old West and uh, any of the wars that took place around the Western United States during that, that period of time. Uh, that guy against all of the other guys. So that one came in at 7%. So we could take the photo of Billy's funeral, which I personally wanted to see, the photo of the gunfight at Blazers Mills, which a few people wanted to see, and we can throw them on the scrap heap. <laughs> Not enough people want to see them for us to send back a time-traveling photographer to get them. How about Billy running from the burning McSween house? Um, this one... And you know, here you go, uh, the cover of Joel Jacobson's uh, seminal book, Such Men as Billy the Kid. And there's Billy running from the burning McSween house. And it strikes me just at kind of how much the back of that building, like the way it, you know, the little uh, cutouts there matches the way that Brandon described it. You can, when we were down there filming, you can see the fence and, uh, yeah, and the fire, obviously, in the back. I think this one would have been fascinating just from a, a dramatic standpoint, right? These flames billowing through uh, the back of the house, lighting up the area between the Tunstall, uh, between the McSween house and the Tunstall store. Um, Billy and his compadres kind of slowly marching out. And then as they get just to the edge, the fence line, you know, a huge plume of fire lights the backyard and then the shooting starts. And uh, of course, that's when you have, uh, you know, the, the what was called the big kill. Um, so I think it would have been a fascinating photo, not one that you would ever get with technology of the time. So again, we'll have to have our time traveling photographer head back with a DSLR, probably they should light the area between, uh, <laughs> you know, between the uh, Tunstall store and the McSween house uh, with some overhead or crane lighting to make sure that everything is lit properly and we could get a lot of detail. Um, but, uh, but seriously, I and mean, this would have been an incredibly dramatic photo and it would have been, uh, it would have given us 
uh, the side, like we only have one photo of Billy unless, yeah, I mean, maybe we have 50, but we only have one that pretty much everybody agrees on. Um, and he's standing there and he's got his guns, but he's not fighting. Uh, he's not, um, not talking to anybody. He's not playing cards, not having a drink, not eating a, uh, uh, a, a Slurpee from Seven Eleven, And so this would have given us a photo or a picture of fighting Billy, right? This would have given us a, a, a real look at what the, what the, what the boy looked like that you know, everybody treated like a man because he was such a fierce fighter and so respected and, and by his opponents in many cases, so feared. And um, so a photo of that, Again, I would like to see them all, but this was not my choice. But if you check my poll, uh, you will see that the the uh, Billy running from the burning McSween house got a paltry 10% of the vote. So uh, 10%. So now we're left with two. Now we're left with uh, just two photos left if they existed. And one of these might exist. Uh, I, according to some people, <laughs> thanks, Steve, uh, according to some people, both of them exist, uh, although I don't believe that. But at 24 percent and in second place was a photo of Phil, uh, Philly, <laughs> Billy and his brother, Joe. Now, this is Beetle Billy. There's Paul McCartney on the left side of your screen. And there's Billy the Kid on the right side. Um, they just got finished. Uh, writing Love Me Do and uh, cracked open a cold sarsaparilla. Uh, is it sarsaparilla? And that's, it's spelled a weird way. And uh, after this, they were going to uh, go get their hair cut and then get suits that matched because these were slightly off color. Um, but seriously, uh, so some people go, this must be Billy and his brother, Joe. And so let's just assume for a moment it is. What would a photo a verified, authentic photo of Billy and his brother Joe show us or tell us? What would it mean to you? To me, I think one of the first things is, although depending on the, the year it was taken, it might answer the question of, hey, who was older? Because depending on who you believe, it's either, my leg's stuck there, <laughs> uh, be, it's either, you know, Joe, Billy was five or six years older or no, Joe was three years older than Billy. And so I don't really think we know. Might that help uh, some uh, genealogists, researchers, people that are looking for birth records? I think it would. Um, I think it would, you know, help out at least where to look. Although people have looked kind of exhaustively at that point, but um, so that would be one thing. But I think the other thing would be if a photo like that existed, unless something totally slipped by the radar. Unless in 1879 or 1880, Billy got on his horse and rode up to Denver and spent a couple of weeks with Joe gambling, drinking, um, you know, messing around with women and uh, said, oh, man, it's good to see you, bro. And, you know, he slept on Joe's couch or whatever the heck it was. Unless that happened, which we've never heard of, uh, then the photo would have to be taken when they were much younger, because by all accounts, Billy leaves Silver City in uh 75 76 and and he doesn't go back and there isn't really any other record of him ever seeing his brother again and for a for a, a young man who uh, the, had no family left having that one person who was his family assuming they got along that would be the one person i think you would want to reach out to now it's not the same world we live in where you can jump on a plane or drive 80, 80 miles an hour on the interstate. And if you're in New Mexico, if you're in uh, uh, Lincoln and you want to go to Denver, uh, you can get there in probably, I don't know, eight hours, eight and a half hours. Yeah, if you keep the keep the driver's side door closed, as the truckers say. So, it, it but it wasn't that world. And so maybe Billy just didn't have the opportunity. Maybe it wasn't safe for him. Maybe he'd done enough stuff um, that he couldn't, you know, freely make his way back and forth across the uh, territory. I don't think that's the case, but it could be. So what would a picture of Billy and Joe 
look like and what would it tell us? I think it would tell us as younger men before the world really got to Billy and probably Joe and hardened them. I think we'd get to see what they really looked like. I think we'd get to see them through the eyes of their mother. Um, I think we'd get to see them the way that uh, most people don't think about Billy the Kid. And I think most people don't even think about Joe Antrim at all because we know so little about him. But it would fill in a lot of the gaps. And I guess for me, it would be one of those interesting things where you go, I mean, this looks like a pretty formal picture here on screen, but um, I think it would be one of those photos where you go, hey, do these guys seem to even like each other or know each other? Uh, it's probably not going to be them high-fiving or anything like that, but it would be nice to see the the two brothers before they became who they became later on in life. Uh, Steve asks, is that one Josie McCarty pick, the old man with the large nose, actually him or not? I don't know that anyone has ever uh, authenticated that. It's purported to be Joe Antrim. Uh, there's no real resemblance to anybody that we can. He doesn't look like the young Billy Tin type. Um, he doesn't look like, uh, uh, you know, any of the other people who pretended to be Billy the Kid. So it could be him. Uh, and if it is, he really lived a tough, tough life because I think it was only his early 60s when he passed. And that guy, that guy had been hammered by life. But, um, you know, we just know so little about Joe that, uh, yeah, I guess it, it could have been. So there you go. Let's go back and take a look at my poll, everybody now. Um, uh, Debbie wants to know, Debbie from Chicago. I love people that have that are clear with who they are. And Debbie from Chicago is clear with who she is. She's Debbie from Chicago. Steve from Capitan is one of the characters in my Back to Billy series. I just love, I really do. I'm not kidding you, Debbie. I love that fact <laughs> that people can be clear. Like some of these names I can't even read, I can't pronounce or something like that. And that's fun too. But when Debbie from Chicago comes on, you know who you're dealing with. You know who you're dealing with. Unless she's actually like Sally from Seattle and she's disguising herself as Debbie from Chicago. Um, but um, then she probably would have used some alliter alliteration and been Debbie from da <laughs> Dallas or, uh, uh, oh, I don't know, I'm going to get myself into trouble here. Okay, so let's take a look at my poll again. And there, and there it is. The number one photo, and this one was higher as far as percentage of votes early on, and then it's kind of moderated a little bit uh, over the last few days. But more than half of the people here wanted to see a death photo of Billy the Kid. Um, and so that's and maybe that's the reason why I thought the funeral photo would be a bigger draw because then you'd not only get the death photo, presumably, right? You'd see Billy in the coffin, but you'd get to see the people that attended. And for anybody that doubts the, um, you know, the fact that Billy was killed uh, July 14 and buried the next day, well, you'd get to see who the witnesses were, the people that dug the grave. Like if you go back to that, uh, let me see if I can get it. If you go back here, it's the death photo. And in addition, um, you get to, you know, you get to know everybody else and what they were doing and what they looked like. So I, I guess I felt, man, that's like a two for one or like, a, I don't know how many people are there, 12, 15, 18. That's like an 18 for one. Um, but I do understand the drama. Uh, uh, oops, wait a minute. There's my poll. Um, I do understand the drama of this idea uh, that, you know, the, he was just killed and, and uh, now we've got this photograph either that proves it if you need proof or that memorializes it. If you wanted to know, if you wanted to know that. Um, and so before we uh, get more into this one, I guess the question would be, what were you thinking? <laughs> not what not what were you thinking you're crazy but what were you thinking as far as a uh uh it, the photo are, are you expecting the photographer would go right into the maxwell bedroom before they've touched the body they haven't moved anything in other words like a crime scene forensic and take a picture of that is that the one you want do you want the one 
where they've rolled Billy's body over. They've, uh, you know, maybe crossed his arms. They've got him perched up against the wall or maybe at a fireplace with the stones, the stone fireplace that uh, the stones are now lining Pete Maxwell's grave. Maybe you want that. Hey, Eric, how are you? Um, is that the one you want? Or do you want the one where uh, Billy is laid out on the workbench with the candles around him and they've dressed his body for the funeral. I think there was a sculpture of that that we, we looked at a photograph of at some point over however many weeks or months ago. Um, is that the one you wanted? So in other words, the, the, which death photo do you want? And then the other question is, and this is just a personal uh, answer or opinion from you, but why do you want it? What, what is the purpose that you want it for? Some people want it for proof. And I've always thought that if you want a death photo for proof, you're out of luck, even if you had one, because Jesse James was killed by Bob Ford, um, 1882. And uh, James's body was put on ice. And uh, then he was uh, photographed. And at least half of the people that, and I'm not a Jesse James guy. I don't know much of the story. I haven't really studied up on it. Um, I've done a little bit of research on uh, Quantrill's Raiders because in the new book that I'm writing, 31st New Jersey, there's a connection to Quantrill's Raiders. But um, I, I don't know much about the individuals, uh, most of the individuals there. So, but half of the people that if you look online at, at, you know, anybody posts that Jesse James death photo and they go, oh, that's not Jesse James. That's uh, now the guy's name escapes me, um, but that's some other guy. And so even with that, you know, kind of crystal clear, well lit posed photo, um, people don't believe that it's who who it's supposedly of now i don't know if it's jesse james i i think jesse james was killed by bob ford but i don't know i haven't really studied it and so that's one thing could you imagine poorly lit fort sumner um, unless you're going to wait for daylight in the poorly lit maxwell bedroom unless you're going to light you know like a thousand candles and a photographer is going to come in and take a photo of uh, you know, this uh, young man who's, whoops, now let's get this going here. Oh, oh hang on. Uh, let me, sorry about that. Da -da 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 -na 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 -na. Is going to take a picture of this uh, Charlie Bigelow. Thank you, Keegan. Yeah, that's the name. Charlie Bigelow is who they promote the photo of the death photo of Jesse James. And, you know, I've seen, here's a photo of Charlie Bigelow. Here's Jesse James at his own funeral, um, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So you can go through all that stuff um, <laughs> and, uh, and do that. But, you know, is this the photo that you're going to get? In other words, if you got a photo, here's a photo. This here's a death photo of Billy the Kid. I didn't want to tell you, but I have it. Hell, I took it. Forget about the fact that I had it. That's the Maxwell bedroom. The fireplace is just off to the right in this area right here. Uh, and uh, here's the wood floor that's used, uh, that they pulled up. They pulled the specific area up where Billy was bleeding, and they used it in Charlie Four's second home in Fort Sumner, and the boards are still there, and there's DNA, which you could easily get, right? But here's the death photo. But the problem is people look at this and they go, oh, that's not Billy. It's not clear enough. And so <clears throat> if you have a crystal clear photograph of Jesse James and 50% of the people don't believe it's him, then what are we going to get from a grainy, you know, dark photo by the moonlight <clears throat> of Billy the Kid that I've presented to you here for the first time ever? And, uh, and who's going to believe that? So I think the thing is with the death photo, if you want to believe, then you will. Uh, there's a guy on the internet that promotes that the famous tin type of Billy is he's already dead. We've already debunked that easily and a number of times. But uh, but what what's the what do you want to get from the photo? Do you want an ID? 
of the body? Do you want to see the circumstances under which Billy was killed? Do you want, like, a, I take a lot of fishing pictures. I'm, I'm catch and release, by the way. So I'm always putting these fish back in good condition. But do you want a trophy photo with, you know, Garrett holding up, uh, you know, <laughs> holding up his hand or, you know, like this? Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, Poe and McKinney on either side of him, like, flexing or something? Uh, or do you want the, Billy's friends in there? Because if you want it for ID... I don't think that it would satisfy enough people. I just don't think it would ever, uh, it would ever happen. And with the quality of the one tin type we have, which is pretty bad. I mean, it's, it, it's certainly legible. You can see it, but it's not like a, uh, a, uh, you know, digital photo you take today. It's not a selfie with that um, quality that we had then under, you know, set, better conditions i could imagine that any death photo of billy like the one that i'm finally ready to reveal to the world here is uh you know would be even worse quality and so people can't even decide about that one i had some guy write me and said oh look at his hair's long enough and clearly curling behind from behind his ears and making his earlobes look detached that's some talented hair to to do that on both ears right in the right spot just to uh just to change the look of his earlobes um rollin says bob ford killed billy barlow's brother bob barlow <laughs> jesse barlow <laughs> oh jesse barlow was killed by bob ford but jesse james and charlie bigelow and jesse bigelow <laughs> they were they all lived on um <laughs> one way or another oh god Eric says, uh, people believe what they want to believe. It's human nature. Well, that's, that's for sure. If I've learned anything in the year and a half plus of doing, uh, two years, I guess, of doing this uh, show and channel is that it doesn't matter what evidence you present. It doesn't matter what documentation. It doesn't matter what information you present to people. If they've already decided, then they've decided and it's not going to change. And it's it's not even worth the attempt to try to get them to change. Um, Sharon says, oh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, Oki and DN, Oki Indian 15. Is that what that's supposed to be? Okay. So you're Native American from Oklahoma and you're 15 years old, or you were born in 2015, which means you're only eight years old, or you're born in 1915, which means you're 108 years old. Uh, which one is it? I, I get, I think I get the name, but I don't get the 15 or maybe there's like 14 other Oki Indian and uh, you, <laughs> you couldn't get one through or maybe 15, maybe you couldn't get zero through 14. And so you had to take 15. Um, I'm fascinated to know that. Um, but, uh, but true, like many of the Bigfoot photos uh, we see, but we still look. So there's lots of photos of Bigfoot, uh, many of which have been all right. Oh, here we go. So Oki Indian is native and 15 is, I, I don't know, male or female is their favorite number. Cool. Okay. 31 is my favorite number. So um, it's good to have a favorite. Uh, all right. So uh, yeah, I mean, you see Bigfoot photos and you, you believe or you don't even the, 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 the ones that have been debunked and people have admitted to fraud. There's still people that believe. Um, there's people that believe in all kinds of conspiracy theories. Sharon says the reason I'd rather see a pick of Billy and his brother is because the tintype is said to not do him justice, that he was better looking than that. Uh, that is true, right? Billy has been, uh, he said by, uh, uh, by Paulita that he, the, the photo made him look very rough. Didn't say it made him look ugly. <laughs> Just said it made him look rough. And yeah, he looked a little rough. His eyes were slits. He might have been drunk. Um, his hair was probably greasy. His clothes were very ill-fitting, probably not clean. And um, so, yeah, you maybe you wanted a better picture of what Billy looked like. I could, I guess I could understand that. Maybe you wanted Billy to be, you know, Paul McCartney, like, uh, you know, one of the guys is in this picture. Maybe that's the real Billy, or maybe this dude here, 
you know, look, that's Bowery, Billy. He looks like he's from the Bowery Boys, an old TV show. I don't even think it was on when I was a kid. Like, I'm not that old, but I think it was on in reruns. But yeah, I mean, these guys are certainly better dressed. They're more cleanly uh, turned out than Billy was. So I can understand that, Sharon. You'd want to see what the real boy looked like, what people saw in him that we never get to see otherwise. Hey, we have a brand new channel member. That's right. It's Ayla Loman. I think it's Ayla, right? I, not Ayla. Ayla uh, from Las Vegas. Horse trainer extraordinaire. How's that? How am I doing, Ayla? <laughs> and uh, thank you for becoming a channel member, supporting the channel. Really appreciate that. Uh, thank you so much. Um, so yeah, Sharon, I, I, I get it right. Oh, by the way, if you want to join, if you're not, you can just go to the join tab or membership tab on the main show page and join, uh, and uh, you get some behind the scenes videos and stuff like that invites to, uh, live events. And there you go. Um, so let's go back to la -da -da -da. there's the, there's the death photo. Is that the one you want? Is that you want the photographer to walk in the room? Billy's body is still warm and you want him to snap that photo. And if you believe that's enough, it's fine. That's all you need. Um, do you want this photo with Pat Garrett and McKinney and Pete Maxwell, you know, like with a shot of uh, old, uh, oh God, what was Doc Holliday's? favorite whiskey old something i can't i could see the label i can't remember the name but uh you know did pete drinking that and mckinney there with his arms crossed like is that the one you want do you want them in the carpenter shop as the women do you want to see the women like wailing around the the body um and uh you know dressing him do you want the one where they're putting Pete Maxwell's shirt on and they have to fold it in the back and put brass hat pins to make it fit because Maxwell is a much bigger guy uh, than Billy and the shirt looks all rumpled. Um, and if that's the case, by the way, wouldn't it seem that Billy had an open casket? Like, what do you care if the guy's shirt fits, if you're just going to put him in a box and seal the lid, uh, before as you carry him over to the cemetery again that's why i i would be fascinated by a picture of the funeral but um but which which one do you want um or do you want the i don't know do you, do you how how morbid do you want to be do you want the one where they where they're cleaning his body and you can see the killing shot and you want to see exactly where he's been hit overholt old overholt whiskey thank you keegan i knew you would know that that's a doc's favorite uh whiskey if you uh <laughs> if you're so inclined uh misty says he looks like he'd been out partying with charlie sheen all night in the tin type misty i was gonna say he looks like he's been <laughs> he was partying with you all night because i think you can really throw a few back and hold your own so i think uh misty and billy in an <laughs> in some time travel uh conundrum <laughs> were out partying the night before the tin type was uh <laughs> was taken Ayla says, I've got it right. Thanks for the horse training plug. Excited to see what else you're up to. Well, you can head over to the members tab, Ayla, uh, when we're done here. And you can see a bunch of videos, investigative stuff there. So there you go. Uh, uh, all right. Hey, there's Hap. Hap, how are you? I'm not going to spill any good news, but I heard some good news about Hap. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it up to him to announce it. But uh, I was happy when I heard it. So just going to leave it right there. Um, okay, so this, uh, let's take a look at my poll again. 53% <laughs> of you wanted that photo. And I'm going to tell you if, <laughs> if it existed, gosh, 142 years on, I think we'd have found it. I really do. I think it's the kind of thing that Garrett would have uh, uh, sent into uh, the uh, uh, San Miguel, it was a judicial district number one, uh, when he was filing the paperwork for his reward. I think he would have sent it to uh, the governor. I think that uh, people would have had it. I think it would have been published in newspapers like other 
uh, well, they couldn't publish photos in newspapers then, but later on certainly would. I think it would have been the basis for a woodcut or a uh, uh, or a sketch of the uh, of the body. Like we would have seen some representation of it, and we've seen none of it. And so I really think that this far on, 142 years later, we would have seen some evidence of a death photo of Billy the Kid. Uh, if you believe that the, there's no death photo, meaning Billy was never killed, go back, I don't know, <laughs> three, four, five months, whatever, and look at the uh, history of death photos video that we did, and you'll see that uh, it was not a, a common or customary thing. I think it becomes one of those urban legends. You see three or four on the internet and you go, oh my God, there was death photos of everybody. Um, but of course, there there wasn't death photos of anybody. There wasn't one of Johnny Ringo. Um, there wasn't one of uh, Curly Bill Brocious. Uh, I mean, there wasn't one of lots of people. Uh, it was just not as big a thing as, as you would think. Uh, okay. Misty James said, uh, there's an idea for your next book. I think it's Misty and Billy tying one on the night before. Well, hey, you know what? We've already covered the tintype in uh, one of the books. That was in book number three uh, of the Back to Billy series, uh, Sunset in Sumner. And we covered the history of that. Now, again, if you haven't read the series, I don't want to ruin it for you because I do want you to read it. There's a little kind of circular thing that goes on. And so could it be uh, introduced again? Yes. But could Billy and Misty James party without having a photo taken the next day? Yeah, they probably wouldn't want photos. What happens in Fort Sumner stays in Fort Sumner, says Misty. And so uh, you, don't have, <laughs> you, don't, <laughs> you don't have to have all the details. Uh, but uh, yeah, I could make it in there. You just never, never, never know. Oh, Hap says... I can share. All right, then I, I, I'm going to share son of a gun. Uh, two of the nicest people. I don't have a photo ready. Otherwise I would do this, but two of the nicest people that you would ever meet. I mean, like ever meet in the history of the world of the 8 billion or how, I don't know how many people have come and gone since uh, the dawn of time. Maybe there's nine or 10 billion, but two of the nicest people are Hap and Carla. Um, and they are your hosts at the uh, Ellis store and the Ellis store is undergoing some changes. Um, but, uh, Hap and Carla, uh, gosh, they, they're the two words that strike me when I, um, when I think of them are warm and genuine. And I mean, I, I think Hap probably really would give you the shirt off of his back if you wanted it or if you needed it. Um, and uh, and Carlo is just so, just so patient, so calm, so fun. Uh, and two nicer people. I've met nice people like individually, but two nice people that, that wind up like that. Well, Hap and Carla are getting married next year. That's what I heard. That's it. It's on the table and, uh, I'm so excited for them. I cannot wait. I don't know what month it is. I think I may have heard like April or something, but I could just be inventing that in my mind. And I would, uh, <laughs> I'm shilling for a wedding invite already, but Hey, I'm also an internet ordained minister. So I would love to do the ceremony. I just don't want anybody to get struck by lightning or anything. So, um, I think it would be, uh, I think it'd be really, really fun. Um, so, yeah, congratulations to Hap and Carla. Gosh, I I'm, I I couldn't be. I'm I'm so happy when people are happy. <laughs> like it makes me happy for for whatever reason. It doesn't even have to be me that's happy. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, I'm just really really thrilled about that. So congratulations, kid. Okay, uh, Ben says, far as photos go, uh, he wants one of each mentioned, but a coffin shot pre burial would be good, where you can see him really well. Uh, out of all the supposed picks, there's only two I like. Um, yeah, I, I agree with you on the coffin pick, right? Let's let's before we commit him to the earth, let's uh, let's see what it looks like. Um, here's DC Outsider. There's a video on YouTube claiming the tintype is the death uh, photo. The video's author also says he's trained postmortem ID. Yeah, I, I encourage you if you want. <laughs> 
<laughs> I encourage you to go watch that. I don't know the link. I, it's pretty easy to find. Just type in Billy the Kid death photo and you'll see the guy absolutely go off. I, I really don't think that he thinks it's true. I think it's a thing to kind of build, like create, say something really controversial so that you get more people to subscribe to your channel. But maybe he does believe it's true, but it's so easily disproven because again, the police illustrated police Gazette published a sketch of Billy the kid in March, 1881. And that sketch is an exact replica. It's taken from the photo of Billy, uh, you know, that was taken in Fort Sumner. So how did they have, uh, a death photo of him in March, which was four months before he died. Um, so there you go. Uh, <laughs> Keegan says, looking at my college ID, I would say the party before pick would make sense for Billy's tin type. <laughs> oh, do you think Billy was going to Fort Sumner University and uh, he just had one last blowout with Misty James before... <laughs> <laughs> before uh he had to go get his uh his uh photo uh, his id taken first photo oh my gosh uh lots of congratulations from Oki indian is it okay to say indian like it's not like, your name is Oki indian i understand why i used indian how about Oki? na 15 native american is that better uh steve misty ben Oki. Misty James, Keegan. Yeah, all cool stuff. Uh, oh, and there's Rollin coming to the rescue and saying, yes, yeah, was uh, uh, the uh, tintype photo was copied in the woodcut printing and published before Billy died. Yeah. So unless you, again, if you have the powers of time travel, all this stuff could be true. Um, so there you go. La -da -dee -da 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 -da. Oh, and DC Outsider is... Brian from PA. Well, you could change your name <laughs> to Brian from PA. Uh, la -da 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 -da. Jonathan May says he had a blowout with Misty, <laughs> Celsa, Paulita, and Abrana. He probably killed him. It's not funny. The last line is not funny, but <laughs> but he may. <laughs> could you imagine Billy's there with Misty James, Celsa Gutierrez, Paulita Maxwell, Abrana Garcia, Nasaria Yerby. Um, who did I miss there? Uh, uh, Delavina Maxwell, Luz Maxwell. Uh, yeah, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> like, there's like seven or eight. He's got a harem of women, and they just <laughs> run him right into the ground. And then the next morning, somebody says, hey, Billy, the, phot the photographer's here, and uh, you got <laughs> you to gotta pull yourself together, and that's the best he can do. Oh gosh. That's really good. <laughs> um, Misty says, Oh, maybe Billy and I will take a selfie in the new book mag. I think I can have an artist create that uh, Misty with you and uh, you and Billy <laughs> in a, a compromising position. Uh, let's see. Doug says, I think that trying to prove the idea of Billy is like going on a great trip. The trip is what makes the destination worth the work. Uh, I believe most people probably don't really don't want to really know his ID. Um, yeah, I mean, well, uh, the destination's all we have pretty much at this point. Um, there's there's not, none of these photos exist. I don't, I don't, I'm relatively sure. And uh, there's just not a bunch of other stuff that we're going to find out that's going to be earth shaking or change the story or the legend. So really it is now just kind of going along the road and enjoying the sights along the way as you go there so yeah absolutely uh all right uh hap is happy that's oh hap is short for happy i don't know if you knew that that's how hap got his nickname because he's always happy and he really is um so that's a great nickname no one's ever called me that <laughs> probably called me grump or something like that uh but uh yeah Let's see. Eric says they all beat him up and made him take the pick as a warning to other womanizers. <laughs> they got together and kicked his ass and said, okay, you'll, you'll think twice before you spend the night with eight women again. Uh, uh, it was Indian from my uh, name on video games back in the seventies before it became politically correct. Now it's Indian boy, Rob. Okay, cool. Well, nice to meet you, Rob. Uh, so there we go. All right. So, uh, my poll has been 
put up for the world to see. <laughs> and here it is. Uh, half, more than half of you want to see a Billy death photo. Uh, one quarter of you want to see a photo of Billy and his brother, Joe. And uh, 10% of you, one out of 10, want to see Billy running from the burning McSween house. 7% want to see the gunfight at Blazers Mills. And 6%, including me, if I could have voted, they wanted to see a picture of, from Billy's funeral to get a to see what happened that morning, what the uh, what the uh, what the mood was like. Oh, Ala says, <laughs> I'll gladly pay for an illustration with Billy in a compromising position. Send your artist my way, Ayla, I I actually do have an artist that does all my book covers that <laughs> specializes in people in compromising positions. Now, my book covers don't go to that degree but if you really want that uh i have your email address i can email you where to find that person and who to connect with i think it probably costs something like 100 or 125 bucks for them to do it but they'll do whatever you want and the last i don't know four three to four book covers uh, all came from uh from this gentleman and so uh yeah, I mean, if, if you're dying for it, the only the only, <laughs> the only thing is you got to show us. You got to you got to send us a picture so we can we can show it. If you want to block the face out or something, that's fine. But we want to see what you come up with. Uh, <laughs> Jonathan says, uh, "Don't put your poll up for the world to see." Oh, it's your poll, P O L L. Sorry, that's what she said. There you go. Hey, it's Thursday. It's almost Friday. Uh, it's almost time for, uh, <laughs> for, oh my gosh, you people are out of control. Billy porn. Who knew he had an only fans? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll tell you what, if there was a Billy only fans, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be a subscriber, but I'll bet you that would be in the, uh, hundreds of thousands of subscribers, uh, almost all women. I would imagine I, so many women are just fascinated by this guy by the idea the thought of this guy so yeah if billy stuff maybe i should start an only fans for billy and have my artist do all the artwork um yeah that's um that's uh, that's something there ayla says deadly serious so we're gonna get to see ayla and billy in some sort of compromising <laughs> position and she says no problem i'll mount it in my living room that is what she said uh, <laughs> Oh, this is degenerating way faster than uh, than I thought it would, but <laughs> but it's uh, fun nevertheless. And Misty James says, "There's how to get money for your movie." Yeah, that's uh, that's not a bad idea. The Billy the Kid only fans page. Oh my god! All right, well, uh, my face hurts from laughing so much. It really does. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, there was a movie of getting shot, but he was on the second floor. He fell, and when he hit the ground, his body was identical to the pic you showed. Well, of course it was, because that is the authentic death photo of Billy the Kid. And I took it because I am here to announce, finally, and to admit once and for all, yes, my real name is Martin Tebes, and I am a time traveler. And uh, if you'd like to read my story, go to Amazon and search for Back to Billy. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can read my story. Uh, Jonathan says, Mount, <laughs> Mount what in her living room? <laughs> uh, uh, I think I have, I don't know what I have the intelligence of. You know, I don't know what, what the age person, but I have the maturity of like a 10 to 12 year old boy, um, as you can probably tell. And that might even be... <laughs> giving me too much credit. Uh, so anyway, all right. Thanks for uh, joining me. Uh, Misty knows it. That's right, Misty. I get, I've given you my secret. There's, I have so many stories I could tell, but I don't want to spill them all here. Hey, thanks for joining me for this uh, fun, I guess, episode of uh, having a look at my poll. And my poll is, um, if you could see only one real authenticated photo which one would it be? And uh, uh, there's plenty of uh, other stuff on the members tab. 
So if you, and not members, I'm sorry, uh, on the community tab. So if you haven't taken a look, there's photos there, there's articles, there's links to uh, outside things. Uh, Keegan Cool and his uh, guys at Cool's Paranormal, Paranormal did a deep dive into the Young Guns movie and asked me to sit in on that. And uh, uh, so you can uh, always check there. If there's not a new video, there's uh, usually something new to see, a link or something like that. And Casper says, nice poll. And uh Yes, I agree. I, uh, I'm quite proud of it, honestly. So <laughs> there you go. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, Jonathan says, thanks, Mag. I was late coming in, but the short time I was here was a blast. Cheers, everyone. Have a great weekend, folks. Yeah, we're going to wind this special pop-up edition uh, down. We'll be back Monday night for the big Monday show. Thanks to those of you that have sent in your, here's what I really think happened in Fort Sumner that night. Um, some of them are uh, very good and technical. This happened and this happened a few minutes later than that. Uh, and and uh, at least one of them, and I'll credit this one to Rollin, is a wild, uh, <laughs> like 15 page tale, which I will not be able to uh, read all of, but what a twist at the end. I think there'll be a new Back to Billy book by Rollin coming up pretty soon. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was really cool. So if you, this is your homework assignment you have until Monday night to finish. If you feel that Pat Garrett did not tell the accurate or true story, what happened in Fort Sumner on July 14, 1881, write me out what you think did happen. And I'm going to present those on Monday's show. Uh, I think it's, uh, almost universally agreed that some of the details are not correct. And many people believe that most of them are not correct. So, um, yeah, uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do it. Uh, Jeff says, stop checking your poll so much. Well, other people, 230 people checked it. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, at this point it's out there and, uh, so there you go. I didn't see the poll on YouTube. BJ, uh, let me, uh, here, let me show you how this thing works. I, and I, I assume you're being serious. So here is the show page, all things, Billy, the kid. And there's a tab right here that says community. I'm not even sure how you get, um, how you get notified of these things. I really don't know because I don't get notified when I put those up. Uh, but if you click on the community tab, here's a book review. Here's a photo from the live at Fort Sumner. Here's uh, here's a poll. Here's a link to the Cools uh, Young Guns deep dive. Here's another review, another review, um, another review. Here's another poll. So there's quite a few polls on here, and uh, it you know it provides you know good talking points for some of the stuff um, that we uh, we go over. So yeah, if you just click on that. Every once in a while, you can see what's new. And there you go. All right. All right, gang. I'm going to let you, uh, I'm going to let you all go. Uh, I appreciate you uh, being here and uh, hope you have a great weekend. If you are a channel member, check the members tab for new videos. I, I know you get a, uh, a notification when they're posted, but there's a bunch of uh, ones that you may not have seen because they happened before you became a channel member. So feel free to go back and do that. And, uh, of course we'll be in Lincoln. I will not be there for old Lincoln days or, uh, yeah, I think that's what it's called, but I hope you get to go. And if you do look up Brandon, I think our buddy Drew Gomber will be there. Drew's getting back out on the speaking circuit. So, um, that's good, but we'll be there September 23rd and 24th. It's not an official event. It's absolutely free. Come on down. Find yourself a place to stay. We'll take a walk around Lincoln. We'll see some of the sights. We'll talk Billy the Kid. We'll tell ghost stories. We'll drink beer. I don't drink beer, but we'll drink something. And uh, yeah, who knows? Maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll take another poll or two. <laughs> I won't, but maybe you will. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. Uh, for all things Billy the Kid, I'm your host, Mike Lanthony. Judas to see. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>